could discuss a, a little bit about the teams and your expectations. Yeah. Um, you know, I think uh, both programs are probably some of the deepest teams that we've had since I've been here as head coach. And uh, I think our leadership has really grown over the last couple of years. And uh, overall, I'm really excited about what both programs can do. I mean, for the men, um, we've been to NCAAs for the past two years. It's a big goal for us to get back there again this year and have our relays get there this year that didn't go last year. And then for our ladies to get back, we haven't been back to NCAAs for two seasons and we'd like to get back there this year. But I think uh, with our freshman class and the depth we have with our upperclassmen, I'm pretty excited about what we have in front of us. That was the big Big 12 competing in that changed? Well, I think going from the Big East to the Big 12, two things changed. Uh, for the men, the conference got a lot smaller, but obviously Texas won NCAAs last year, so the quality of athletes we compete against have, has gone up. And for the women, it's uh, uh, five programs, and it's the same deal. Uh, you know, Texas is a top five program, and, and with TCU and Iowa State and Kansas in there as well, I think it's a it's a pretty competitive conference. It's given our our program uh, an opportunity for a lot of our kids to get second swims at the conference championships, which is something that was not available in the Big East. No, what Andrew was one of two kids that advanced to NCAAs yes. last year for you. Yeah, we had Tam who had qualified for two seasons and then Andrew qualified last season as a junior. What are your expectations for Andrew? Oh, I'm not big on, on putting a lot of expectations on, on swimmers as far as pressure from a coach, but I think Andrew has really developed into a, a quality Division One athlete. Um, our goal is always to have our kids uh, turn into their coaches and we become a resource for them and Andrew's definitely done that and um, I, I know Andrew has pretty high expectations for himself this season and uh, I think anything short of getting a second swim at NCAAs is not something he wants to be a part of again. Did you know, also when you, were, you recruit these kids you have the, you have the hope they'll develop was that the case with things that some of you saw was just going to get better? Well, I think we're in a unique position uh, at WVU. We're, we are not a top 10 program, so we don't have NCAA kids walking through the door. Um, so we absolutely look for kids that we feel are, have the potential to grow into those. Uh, we have the resources and, and uh, all the athletic directors that I've worked for have, have been very, very supportive of our program and, and uh, given them the opportunity to become the best athletes they can. Well, that's between Lindsay and Mike. Uh, I know Lindsay had a very successful season last year, and um, I know uh, she's got a good group of freshmen around her, and uh, she's experiencing that again and having a, a group of divers that uh, are on the same page. But uh, I think Lindsay's goals are, are pretty much on line with anybody, and that is to, to compete at uh, the top eight level, probably top three or four level at Big 12s, and get to zones, which is a big important meet for diving, and then hopefully qualify for NCAAs from there.